I've actually been paying more attention to like the streamer PvP amongst the drama mm. than I have like fucking the trial itself. <laughs> I've been like watching like gotta make sure I'm live at the right time, make sure I'm there. We we'll do a 24 hour stream so I can build up view count before the trial. Like the PvP going on for like the number one spot is nuts. And I just that I find that more interesting than I do with the trial. <laughs> 270k, 2k. I can't do numbers. Yeah, he won. It's everyone got decimated. Jesus Christ. Where do you watch the trial? I don't know. I've never. I've always just watched Asmongold or XQC. Clearly, you're losing. I'm losing. Yeah. Uh, Twitter, YouTube. Uh, Amber Heard, Johnny Depp trial, trail, whatever. Verdict watch live now. This. All right. Are we ready for the jury? Yes, Your Honor. Yeah. All right. Just to, for everybody in the gallery, reminder: this that this is a court of law, uh, and uh, regardless I just of want the to verdict, the verdict, I will not I tolerate leave. any outbursts whatsoever. Okay. Thank you. What are they whispering? <laughs> Dude, I gotta pee so bad. I'm gonna go pee. Have the attorneys approach for a moment. Um, okay, are they done yet? Like, hello, bro. Continue to wait right now. Amber Heard, we see front and center. Uh, the uh, lawyers just went to speak to the judge at her request. Dude, they're just we stalling for content. I swear. For this Come on. Moment right here on Unbelievable. Box. I hate content creators. Hmm. All right, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. What I need you to do, I need to give the forms back to you. Um, when you find for a defamatory statement, um, one or more, you need to fill out the compensatory damages. It has to be at least a dollar for compensatory damages and up to whatever you feel the damages should be. And for punitive damages, you can put a zero there or you can fill out that as well. But I need those uh, lines filled out, okay? All right, so if I can have you retire back to the liberation room and do that for me, okay? <sighs> Hurry the fuck up. And really, the drama continues right now as the uh, judge has asked the jury to go back in. They have to file. Uh, and How much do you guys think these lawyers cost? Paperwork right now. You see Amber. Well, I guess maybe they don't cost a lot. Maybe they just like the publicity. There. Maybe they're and paid in that because it's such a public case. Hear back from them. Don't go too far. Okay. Okay, Thank so you. she, she just instructed Amber Heard and the rest of everyone to not go too far. But as I was saying, you heard, uh, you were feeling that anticipation inside of uh, the courtroom, and now we wait some more. Let's bring in a right they now would cost my co-host, uh, Daytona. They would cost more with the publicity? I don't know. Like, I guess someone said they get a percentage of, like, however much they win. But I, I think... They really just want – it's got to be a lot of value to that, right? Am I wrong? Someone said they don't – the publicity would make it cost more. I don't think that's the case. 
I'm pretty fucking sure that like they like that. I don't know. I'm not a lawyer. I did ask my brother Ryan um, what he thought about the case, and he, I think I already said this on stream, he hates it. He says it's so annoying that people care more about this trial than they do, like, legitimate trials on, like, serious racist accusations and, or, what is it, not serious, like, um, what was that one case where the, that one guy was, like, choked to death by a cop? Or something. He was like, he's so. He said, I, I hate it. He mm -hmm. hates it so much. But I asked him. I said, Is this how trial really is? Like, are there constant hearsay, objection, constantly? And he said, When there's a jury, yes, that is how it is. When there's a jury, and he's, it's, it's awful. I said that already. Okay. Yeah, I just remember my call with him because I was curious. That's the widest way I've ever heard someone reference George Floyd. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what? Now, if there what is the liability fuck? on which side, who's liable to who? You know, is is Amber Heard liable to Johnny Depp for her alleged defamation of him and her? Washington Sorry, I'm Post so white. Article? My bad. Uh, or is he liable to her in her countersuit? And they have to reach the question of liability first, and then once that question is reached, they have to determine how much the damages are here. You know, it's one thing that one person be liable to the other, but the other question is for how much. Mm. Did, you know, Depp's team establish Who the an fuck? amount of damages that this court Are we paused award? right now? Do they uh, like pause or something? I don't want to pause it. Oh, I space out. I just want to mute it. I don't want to hear what he has to say. Oh. Okay. Um, where do I see the chat? Is that not a thing? Does that not exist? Do you not hear they went back in? How long though? Like how long are they going back in? Go to the two mil stream. The two mil stream? Um, oh, wowie. 2.3 million views? What? They're so popular. See, is there in the courtroom with her attorneys? Johnny Depp is not here. His team having told us that because of prior commitments in the UK, the worst which blue we know balls to be of my um, life. shows, he's playing music with Jeff Beck. He justice will be watching for the verdict Johnny. Uh, from the UK. Hashtag so who knows? Maybe he's watching Johnny. our coverage. You, if so, Johnny. Johnny, call us. We want to do an interview with you as soon as this is all, is all over. Um, it was crazy. Uh, Linda, any final maybe predictions I, here? I shouldn't say maybe for, I'm sheltered. I'm so, I never well, even heard about Johnny Depp being canceled. I just thought he didn't want to make any more movies. Here, Stacey. I wonder if the teams know uh, who the verdict I had no for, idea he was canceled. The judge brought them to the bench until they this were looking through came the verdict up. form. She obviously had to tell them that there was a verdict in favor of someone, but it has to send them back for damages. Well, no, he got dropped. Well, yeah, now so I know he got dropped, but I, the, I didn't know about it. Uh, that's a good and point. So, uh, that is a good point. Uh, I wonder whether they until know recently. who's won and who is lost, Stacey. And if they did perhaps see that, I mean, would that be an issue? Would there be any sort of violation? of rules or any I don't want to be here that long. I just want to know so I can leave. Please. Absolutely. Quite frankly, they have a, a right to see it and to tell their clients. Um, you know, so no, there's no violation. Uh, they have to know when the uh, jury has filled out the forms and they have to know is there a problem because the judge has to tell them what she is going to do so they can either lodge an objection or not lodge an objection. And again, uh, could they have just forgotten to fill it out? Uh, they may not have known that you just give a dollar compensatory damage. Images. Maybe it wasn't in the instructions. Quite frankly, I don't remember. Actually, saying like a, we should have one of our our legal a legal, long thought legal. process. Like, what if I went to like a convention or something, and let's just say like, I don't know, four years ago, I hooked up with some girl, and that it was like a hookup or something, right? And then like four years later, she starts mm -hmm. in OnlyFans and she's like a streamer, and she started saying like, yeah, I was with Soda Pop, and then he he beat me and he did all these crazy different things. I'm like, I thought, would people believe her? Like, obviously I didn't do that, right? But like, just some asinine, ridiculous, crazy shit. And it's like, kind of surreal. It's like, what the fuck? Like, cause even if like, a lot of people don't believe her, they'll think that maybe she just, some crazy shit did happen. She's just amping it up even more. Like maybe she said, I punched her in the face, but you know, if, 
they don't believe that, but they'll mm. think, oh, maybe I uh, pushed her really hard or something, right? Like just a little less than. And it's like, holy fuck. I don't know if people would believe it. Maybe, maybe, I'm, maybe it's because I see the world through my own eyes. I like, I have higher expectations of what people believe, but I don't know. I feel like with streamers, mm. it might be different because you kind of know them a bit. Maybe that is that is that cope? Is that cope? That might be cope. I picture like, could you uh, could you picture me hitting a girl and like beating her so like if a girl came out and said well, could you believe that maybe some people could i just mm. i am me so i obviously know i could never do something like that but like i don't know people i, <laughs> I don't you have pipe cleaners as arms I, yeah, I mean, physically, Surrey it's kind of hard to see it, but room. even like... But again, if you're just joining us, we were supposed to have the verdict read right at 3 <laughs> o'clock. The judge did call the jury into the room right at 3 o'clock. Uh, Johnny Depp's I can see you getting beat up by a girl. Yeah, 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 legal, okay. legal team were sitting in there, um, but they looked at the paperwork, they looked at this special jury form, and someone said, oh, the judge... So you're telling me if a girl came out and tried to cancel me, people would be like... Here because the damages page... <laughs> Was you wouldn't believe them and because the I'm too skinny. Had a little sidebar, and then the judge sent the jury back to fill in the damages. Um, okay. And Jeanette, just that sound. So if I work Jeanette, out, I might get screwed in, in the future. What was, what was the vibe? What's going on? Well, I think the you're vibe too was, so. You know, everybody, we're told that we're not allowed to talk to anybody in there. Which, you know, we're news people, so and we're just human beings, right. so that's really difficult. Okay. So we got kind of shushed. Um, but it was interesting because uh, it was kind of heavy, like. Amber Heard walked in. She kind of greeted her attorneys. See, I would turn um, the audio up, but dress. I don't care what these people uh, have to say. Her hair kind of pulled back loosely. This is different from a lot of the times we've seen her come in with the, the braids. Um, I feel like the things I, I have to say are more interesting. Whether she smiled or anything like that, but she came <laughs> it in. It might be Cope again. <laughs> had previously scheduled uh, concerts with Jeff Beck in London, so he's not here. Right. He's watching, we're told, from mm. the UK. So uh, they came in, the jury walked in, uh, they took their seats. Who are these people just outside? They looked around a, slightly, not a lot. And then they just kind of focused mm. on the judge. Judge Azkarate calls the lawyer. Like, do you think these people that are outside, these just random passengers, goers, right? They don't I work for I a news firm. Say, it's, it's not their job to be here or anything like uh, that, right? Do you think they were just happened to be in the neighborhood, or you thought, hey, Jimmy, you want to go to the court and see if we can get a glimpse of Johnny Depp and Amber Heard? First of all, who's in the courtroom in the audience? Is it a mix of media and regular people? They might have skipped work for this. Oh, you're right. You know, it's not a lot of them might have skipped work. That's crazy to me. It has been. Like, there have been a lot of days where it's just totally packed. Um, I was sitting next to a reporter from the UK, another reporter from Courthouse News. We were just, you know, we've talked a lot during this case. Um, we saw some of the local, I would call like mm. more local Depp fans here. I didn't see any Amber Heard supporters up there. That doesn't mean there might not have been one or two there, but I did not see them. And, you know, it's just kind You of skip like, work every day, bro. How is that like crazy to you? I don't think there. that's comparable. Waiting for the big news. Yeah, yeah. I, I have a job so where I can do it, like and there's, like, like really no consequences. These I people, mean, like, they use happen. their vacation days, which they have a limited amount of. I can take all the time off I want. And even then, I can't imagine not streaming because I want to go to this. Now, I'll not stream to play World of Warcraft. Or just because I don't want to be on camera in front of people. But this is a crazy... This is nuts to me. Like, go go to fucking Six Flags. Fiesta, Texas. You know? If you're going to go on, like, a little trip somewhere. Came out... They obviously have set things up much differently now uh, at the press conference area, and they've put up the, um, I forget what you call them, not barricades, but, you know, yeah, the little... Disneyland. So that the attorneys can walk oh, I forget. They yeah, support Johnny and they hate Disney now. Not Maybe not Disneyland. And people. Six Flags. Mm. Because they don't yeah. want people rushing them. And they and those barricades have been set up since yesterday yeah. in anticipation. But this it. more looks like this almost more this looks like a almost like a red carpet or something. This is different than the barricades. This is like in front of the courthouse doors, and it's those things where you can kind of unhook the thing, the, the little ribbon thing, and you can unhook it. Um, and they have those, and there are fans on both sides. So there are depth supporters, it appears, on mm -hmm. both sides. Right, and we're showing our viewers that picture out yeah. Are we suing her for right $50 million? So, uh, and by the way, I just want to say to I wonder if he's going to get right now. We've 50 million. Got, uh, I don't know. Heard hundred oh million dollar countersuit over abuse. Well, we wait, we so Depp is asking for 50 million, and Heard is asking for 100 million. 
Linda Kenny Bodden's with us in the studio. We've got other guests joining us. I didn't know that. Obviously, and Jeanette is here, so keep sending us your questions. I just know it's he said, she said, but there's a lot more proof that she's wrong or that she's lying. That's kind of how it is, right? These lawyers have really attained celebrity status over the last six plus going on seven weeks of this trial. I mean, Camille Vasquez now has fans from all over. Talk a little bit about that, about sort of like the status that these lawyers have earned. And there's been a lot of court PVP. Especially in Camille Vasquez have become. Uh, Which is so annoying to watch. Like, I, I watch the court, I just get mad. Uh, like it, it's, I guess there, I, I'm not obviously comical, offering a better solution, but I watch court and I see like this PV, like the whole point is like to find out who's right and who's wrong, right? But it's just so weird to see like um, time limits and like half time and objection, hearsay, like all just, it, again, it feels like a basketball game that I'm watching. But like that's not, this isn't a sport. And I just get angry. I'm like, ugh. Um, because I felt like I don't know what the better no one knows what a better solution is but it's how it is I guess mm. okay we're blurred out of our minds right now mm. Did you see where she was pretending to write something down? You see, I see that, and I, I hate being... I hate... I bet there was times Johnny was pretending to write stuff down, too. And I don't like saying that, but, oh, my God, you support Amber Heard? I'm like, no, but it's like I'm going to have to point out that it's probably both in that, right? And it's like, you def everyone's so fucking, like, villain and good guy from all the movies that they've watched and Marvel you know, Spider-Man stuff, but it's like, this is real life. That's annoying to me. I don't know if Johnny's a bad person. See, I am one to say that, like, in a situation like this, I bet they're both fucked up, one more than the other. Um, but I haven't paid enough attention to see any. I have seen proof of things that Amber, it, Amber's a bitch, right? Um, I, evil. Um, but I'm, I'm not going to say Johnny's evil. I don't, I haven't seen a lot of stuff. But. If I had to guess, I would say he's probably done some fucked up shit in here. Probably not the best boyfriend in the world. There's probably two sides to this, and it's pretty gray. More on the side of Amber being the bigger bitch, for sure. That's my opinion. That's probably where I'd put it down. We'll see what they say. Damn, this camera's way better. <laughs> Holy fuck. Hello, audio. I mean, I'm... Oh. Where's Johnny? She's here. Where's Johnny? I want pirates. I hope he comes in as Jack Sparrow. <laughs> He's in the UK? Why? Oh, he's filming pirates. Yes. God, that paper is so loud. Mm. All right, Mr. Four Person, is this the verdict of the jury? Yes. 
All right. Is it unanimous? Yes. Thank you, sir. Jamie. In civil case number CL 2019-2911, Mr. Depp's claim against Ms. Hurd. One, as to the statement appearing in the online op-ed entitled Amber Heard, I spoke up against sexual violence and faced our culture's wrath. That has to change. In the Washington Post online edition, quote, I spoke up against sexual violence and faced our culture's wrath. That has to change, end quote. Do you find that Mr. Depp has proven all the elements of defamation? Answer, yes. Has Mr. Depp proven by a greater weight of the evidence that question, the statement was made or published by Ms. Hurd? Answer, yes. The sta question, the statement was about Mr. Depp. Answer, yes. Question, the statement was false. Answer, yes. Question, the statement has a defamatory implication about Mr. Depp. Answer, yes. Question, the, de the defamatory implication was designed and intended by Ms. Hurd. Answer, yes. Question, due to circumstances surrounding the publication of the statement, it conveyed a defamatory impl implication to someone who saw it other than Mr. Depp? Answer, yes. Do you find that Mr. Depp has proven by clear and convincing evidence that Ms. Hurd acted with actual malice? Answer, yes. Oh. Mm. Two, as to the statement appearing in the op-ed entitled, A Transformative Moment for Women in the Washington Post print edition and the online op-ed Amber Heard, I spoke up against sexual violence and faced our culture's wrath. That has to change. In the Washington Post online edition. Quote, then two years ago, I became a public figure representing domestic abuse, and I felt the full force of our culture's wrath for women who speak out. End quote. Do you find that Mr. Depp has proven all the elements of defamation? Answer, yes. Has Mr. Depp proven by a greater weight of the evidence that question, the statement was made or published by Ms. Hurd? Answer, yes. Question, the statement was about Mr. Depp? Answer, yes. Question, the statement was false? Answer, yes. Question, the statement has a defamatory implication about Mr. Depp? Answer, yes. Oh, her career is over. Question. The defamatory implication was Ooh, designed and intended by Ms. Hurd. Answer. Yes. Question. Due to circumstances surrounding the publication of the statement, it conveyed a defamatory implication to someone who saw it other than Mr. Depp. Answer. Yes. Do you find that Mr. Depp has proven by clear and convincing evidence that Ms. Hurd acted with actual malice? Answer, yes. Three, as to the statement appearing in the op-ed entitled, A Transformative Moment for Women in the Washington Post print edition and the online op-ed, Amber Heard, I spoke up against sexual violence and faced our culture's wrath. That has to change in the Washington Post online edition. Quote, I had the rare vantage point of seeing in real time how institutions protect men accused of abuse, end quote. Do you find that Mr. Depp has proven all the elements of defamation? Answer, yes. Has Mr. Depp proven by a greater weight of the evidence that question, the statement was made or published by Ms. Hurd? Answer, yes. Question, the statement was about Mr. Depp. Answer, yes. Question, the statement was false. Answer, yes. Question, the statement has a defamatory implication about Mr. Depp. Answer, yes. Question, the defamatory implication was designed and intended by Ms. Hurd. Answer, yes.
Oh my God. Question, due to circumstances surrounding the publication of this statement, it conveyed a defamatory implication to someone who saw it other than Mr. Depp? Answer, yes. Do you find that Mr. Depp has proven by clear and convincing evidence that Ms. So Heard acted Jack with Sparrow actual won. malice? I hope Answer, makes more. yes. Shut up. <laughs> As against Amber Heard, we, the jury, award compensatory damages in the amount of $10 million. As against Amber Heard, we, the jury, award punitive damages in the amount of $5 million. In civil case number CL 2019-2911, Ms. Heard's claim against Mr. Depp. One. As to this statement, appearing in the April 8, 2020, online edition of the Daily Mail, quote, Amber Heard and her friends in the media use fake sexual violence allegations as both a sword and shield, depending on their needs. They have selected some of her sexual violence hoax, facts, as the sword, inflict inflicting them on the public and Mr. Depp. Do you find that Ms. Heard has proven all the elements of defamation? Answer, no. Two, as to this statement appearing in the April 27, 2020 She's online edition of the Daily Mail, quote, uh. quite simply, this was an ambush, a hoax. They set Mr. Depp up by calling the cops, but the first attempt did not do the trick. The officers came to the penthouses thoroughly searched and interviewed, and left after seeing no damage to face or property. So Amber and her friends spilled a little wine and roughed the place up, got their story straight under the direction of a lawyer and publicist, and then placed a second call to 911, end quote. Do you find that Ms. Heard has proven all the elements of defamation? Answer, yes. Has Ms. Heard proven by a greater weight of the evidence that question, Mr. Waldman, while acting as an agent for Mr. Depp, made or published the statement? Answer, yes. Question, the statement was about Ms. Heard. Answer, yes. Question, the statement was seen by someone other than Ms. Heard. Answer, yes. Question, the statement was false. Answer, yes. What? Do you find that Ms. Heard has proven by clear and convincing evidence that the statement by Mr. Waldman was made with actual malice? Answer, yes. Three, as to this statement appearing in the April 27, 2020 online edition of the Daily Mail, quote, we've reached the beginning of the end of Ms. Heard's abuse hoax against Johnny Depp, end quote. Do you find that Ms. Heard has proven all the elements of defamation? Answer, no. As against John C. Depp II, we, the jury, award compensatory damages in the amount of $2 million. As against John C. Depp II, we, the jury, award punitive damages in the amount of $0. All right. Does either side wish to have the jury polled? Yes, Your Honor. All right. Jamie? The jury Members pulled. of the jury, if this is your verdict, please answer yes. If this is not your verdict, please answer no. Juror number six. Yes. Juror number 10. Yes. Juror number 15. Thank you. Juror number 16. Yes. Juror, juror number 22. Yes. Juror number 27. Yes. Juror number 29. Yes. I do find that the jury's verdict is unanimous. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes your service in this case. I want to thank you again for your dedication and your hard work during this trial. And I know I speak for everybody here uh, when I appreciate, tell you that we appreciate your sacrifices and your time and your public service in this matter. Okay? So I'm going to have you go back to the jury deliberation room for one more uh, time, and then we'll release you from there. Okay? All right. Thank you. That's it. They almost caught Captain Jack Sparrow.
I, mm -hmm. I didn't hear the end. Apparently, I didn't hear what happened. Okay. At the end. In I, accordance I with out. law, I will amend the uh, punitive damages um, award to the statutory cap of $350,000 on Mr. Depp's award. Okay. Um, I will set this down for entry of an order. And can we do it on June 24th at 10 a.m. if that's available? All right, yes, Mr. Chu, if you could prepare that order and then circulate it to Ms. Bretterhoff and we can have all the objections noted on it. All right. We'll do that, Your Honor. Thank you very much. All right. And if I get it before that date, I'll take it off the docket. Okay. All right. All right. Again, thank you to all the attorneys uh, for your professionalism and uh, you're welcome to come to my courtroom anytime. Well, give me a few weeks, but then you can come <laughs> <in> anytime. Okay. <laughs> all right. Thank you, court is adjourned. Thank, thank you. you, Your Honor. All right. What a great cast. This was an epic season. Uh, so, yeah, that was um. That's it. Mm. What a finale! They take her to the front, I guess, so she can escape. So what? I didn't like. I didn't hear the conclusion because so much of her like words were riddled with like question, mm -hmm. end of sentence, end quote, quote, like I, I just, like I just kind of lost. I, I I don't, I'm not used to listening to someone speak like that. On top of that, the con constant repeating of quotes and shit is just. I fell asleep. Um, what was the result overall? Amber lost hard. Amber owes $13 million. Okay, so Amber owes Johnny $13 million. I mean, at the end of the day, I don't think the money matters. I, I guess it kind of does, because it's like, what really matters is, because like, obviously they, they both need to be liked in the eyes of the public, and like the public will just be like, oh, Johnny won. Johnny didn't abuse her. Okay, done. Right, and that's all that matters. Mm. Or vice versa, you know. Oh, Amber did get abused. Oh, okay, so Johnny evil. Johnny bad. Okay. Like, that's all that matters. Mm. Public opinion, yeah. It's not just rich people, it's rich famous people. Right? Cool. All right, well, that's uh, end, end finale. That's it. Hmm. This is awkwardly quiet. Um, I just feel like, you know, they could have at least left a cliffhanger for, like, the next episode. Like, they usually We're Outside do. the courtroom where you can see these fans, as I said, every time a judgment was read in favor of... I... <laughs> like, something to be excited about the next season. <laughs>